Hey guys, welcome to the new video. We're gonna cover the new anniversary event today, which is the event that started uh, several days ago, four days ago. As you can see, there's a lot of rewards that you can get from this. All the rewards that you can basically buy with anniversary coins. If you still don't know what anniversary coins are, you can find them in your uh, valuables, which is by you get by pressing K, go to events and holidays, you can find your coins right here. You get these coins by simply killing monsters uh, everywhere in Alot, so you can get them from going astral, killing demons there. There's so many ways to get these coins. You get them by leveling, and you'll quickly understand like the sources of where to get them from. Okay. These anniversary coins are always used for anniversary events and other seasonal things, so these are frequently used for these kind of things. Now you can press just press the go there button, and it's gonna lead you to the start of the event. Now in your mail you're gonna have something as well, which I'll explain here. And then about the Alot Online team, so when you do log in and you get this email, we wish to invite all Alot Online players to join us in celebrating the first anniversary. It's not the first anniversary, it's now the 13th I believe, Alot Online running under my.com operation. In honor of this special occasion we are handing out various gifts, so you get the gift. And what's in the gift? Receive gifts only a progenitor character will obtain the entire content. That means if you open this on your reincarnation character, you won't get everything. For people that are unclear what this is, your progenitor character is your original character that you started the game with all the way back in the days. So your progenitor is your main character, progenitor, and all the reincarnations you made from that are incarnations, yeah. Progenitor was the first character you ever started. Because I know there's people that are like maining their reincarnation for, for a class purpose. It's your progenitor. Open it on this one. Receive the mail on this one. Nothing else. When we do open it. In the boutique tab. We're going to find these two items. Now there's an iridescent jar. As I explained before you can buy this from the vendor. But they give you one for free. To unlock another reincarnation. Now I can't because I already have too many. I'm at the maximum. So in 30 days, this, this is going to convert into a platinum coin, which is a nice thing. Anniversary Horn of Abundance. This is going to give you something depending on your level. If you're top level, you're going to receive Legendary Dragon Tears, which is going to help you on the minions or on hard rates, doing your tier skills at a much better efficiency. If you are a lower level, I believe, you get a Magic Potion that increases damage dealt. This is something to help you level with, I guess, but honestly, it's kind of useless. Save it till your max level, then open it. It lasts 30 days. It's perfect. Open it, you get 1000 legendary tier skills, which is stronger than my usual tiers. So this is something I usually keep for dominions for sure. Or, of course, fable tiers, whatever the best you have to offer at the time. Or use it for raids. Alright, that's what you get for starting out. Then back from the mail, so we get to... For me, I'm a leak, so I get to the port in Novograd. For Empire, it will be here in Isengrad port. So we, what I noticed is that leak just has these NPCs, blah blah blah, not much option, and then you can enter. Now Empire has a introduction quest here that the NPC has. I don't know why that is, but it just has. Um, first of this NPC can teach you how to dance. If you do dance and you dance for about, for about five minutes, you're going to learn dance two, which is a special anniversary dance that you get, which kind of syncs with everybody else that dances with dance two. So it's kind of cool to see when everyone dances together. Now, basically, the rewards are in here are the same rewards as you can get in the cruise ship. Um, basically, you can convert all your coins to the next level of coins. You can get some crap stuff, um, I just went for Astral, the really old school costumes, the very first ones that were given I believe. Some gifts so that you can sell your coins I suppose, so that makes them tradable. Some fireworks, some more anniversary costumes, and then all the other uh, costumes that are in here as well that you can buy. Quite a lot now. The newest ones is this costume. It's not bad, but I don't like how the wings are so separate from the golden plate costume. Same for the headpiece, kind of doesn't mix. I like the other costumes more than they did. They were more in sync with each other. This is kind of weird to me, but it is what it is. The wings are cool, like you can make cool combinations with other costumes, but I think this set doesn't go together. 
once they go into the cruise ship this is where all the stuff happens really for people that are already playing before you will recognize a lot of this stuff because they're using the same model and, and pre-built template they had before but they're alternating a few things here and there uh, depending on how the story in the game goes um, starting at the far left you can just talk to every NPC, they'll have some story and lore to tell you. These are basically all NPCs that you met throughout the whole, you know, through the whole game. And this is a really cool thing they do with putting all the NPCs together. And you can go and have a talk to them in a kind of bit more out of character. Where they have to be like an NPC in your game. They're kind of like off duty here and just having a cool little party. Um, Lord Croesus. This guy has also the costume from last year, I believe. Looks also really cool. Uh, you can buy fireworks from this guy. Which are really cool looking fireworks. Now, I'm not sure because I'm really curious right now. But this says the 10th, but it's not the 10th anniversary anymore. I know the 10th anniversary was a big thing because it's a 10, but... I think we're now on the 13th year or the 12th year. There's firing. Is this the fireworks? Yeah, it's still 10. Alright, well, it does still look cool, but it would be cool if they adjusted the number to be more in sync with reality. Um, this is the same vendor we had outside, so that's nothing new. You'll see these cages. These cages you can interact with, by the way. And in the bottom right corner, you can see the name of it. Now, there used to be cages before that were epic quality, so just the name would be in purple. And those cages you could farm infinitely, because right now, if I touch it, the cage... You'll see I get a debuff, Braveheart, which is basically the demon uh, biting my finger. And so after X amount of tries, I'm going to bleed to death probably. And you can only do this up to 10 times and then you get a cooldown. So if you do want to farm it this way, because it has a chance to drop coins, uh, I would say go up to 9 stacks and then let the buff expire. Because you can see this buff lasts 2 minutes. And it's better to wait 2 minutes than to push it to 10 stacks and you get a debuff of 5 minutes. That's why I would do it that way. They have a chance on dropping coins as you can see here. I have received a copper coin and silver coin. So you could farm it that way. Uh, I'm about to die I see. But that is one way you can farm. So I was explaining uh, on the previous years. There was a epic cage and it wouldn't give these debuffs. You could like infinitely interact with them. They would drop purses. Or coins and you could get those from coins as well I believe I'm gonna die now I'm not sure we'll see uh, this has a repeatable quest a daily quest actually where you can play around with cell planes uh, just like last year this is not worth your time if you want to farm coins there's better ways to farm coins with so I wouldn't use these cell planes and you fly around to grab balls you need only 5 balls and your quest is done, you can go up to 100 balls to increase your reward from handing in the quest, but it's not worth your time, I believe. There's better ways to farm. My favorite way of farming the coin is here the dual fight. Now, I see that they changed an NPC for quite some funny reasons, we're not going to cover in the video, but they replaced an NPC that was here before with this George, George the Bird. Where is Fang? He was right here. He acts like Fang is nowhere. Fang is right here. So I'm assuming this NPC was something they wanted to remove. But they either forgot about it or it's just a gimmick they want to do. I'm not sure what it is. But so there's three NPCs here. This guy wants to fight you for a copper coin, I believe. Silver. This guy wants to fight you for a copper coin. You pay one copper. If you win, you get two. If you lose, get nothing. So you pay one coin. If you win, you get two, so you're doubling your actual value you had. If you lose, you lose the one coin you had. So that's a cool gimmick. This one is for silver, and this one is for gold. So, of course, the higher the quality, the harder the fight gets. But you're going to figure it out very quickly. It's always the same mechanic in the fight, blah, blah, blah. You'll figure it out. I made a guide on how to do it exactly on my previous videos from the previous years. Check that out if you'd like to, or click the video in the top right corner to see how that goes. But then moving on, so we have the cage uh, explained, we have the fly cell planes explained, we have the duel explained. Um, more NPCs to talk to, another vendor with the same stuff. This guy, announcer, is the one that manages the lottery. Yeah. 
This is where you can buy tickets for the lottery. So one ticket, ten, one hundred, one thousand tickets. Everything is in is in par with each other on the cost, so you don't have to calculate if there's a cheaper way. And you simply do the tickets as an example. I have some here. You right click one, then remount quick. And you see in my chat here that I entered the ticket of today. I have eight tickets. I need to open 56 more to get to the first place. And they'll announce the winners every day at 12 o'clock midday. So the, the event ended 44 minutes ago for today. So tomorrow before 12 o'clock, I should get online and see where I'm at and eventually pop, pop up some more tickets. All right, then about the lottery of rewards, of course. So if you do happen to win and you are the first uh, when the lottery ends at 12 o'clock midday, uh, you get 30 platinums as a reward, you get the line mount and you get some fireworks. Now fireworks is whatever. The coins are really, really good if you do win. They give you lots of profit and you get a lot of coins back. Considering 1000 tickets is only 5 platinum coins, you get 30 if you win, so there's good chances on that. However, if you become second, then you only get 5 platinum coins. You have to be really careful there. If you do go past the 1000 tickets mark and you don't end up being the first, you're going to make a loss and that's gonna be hard on a lot of people. So you have to be careful and plan it really well. Um, how many tickets you're gonna go for, up to how many tickets you can spend, etc. Now for the lion guys, this is another key point of why it would be a great moment to start now if you haven't started on pay to play EU yet. Lions are given to the top 20 people that are in the lottery. As you can see, first 20 winners receive a unique mount, the anniversary lion. Anniversary lion is really good mount guys, it's no joke. This is the skin, so it looks like. And it has a leaping ability, meaning it can stack up to five times and you can keep spamming your leap that way, which is a really good speed boost going long distances. And it's a maximum speed mount, as you can see here, 16.25. This is the maximum speed for EU pay to play and Russia pay to play as well, except for the furnace. That's why I'm skipping furnace because that's an exception. Doesn't make a big difference anyway. But all the other mounts are the max speed 16.25. It's a great mount to have, guys, if you just start the game and you're new and you get any anniversary coin from killing anything do your, during your leveling, then go to the Go to the lottery thingy, get one ticket, get in the get in the roll. I'm pretty sure at this point on our on our server it's easy to get in the top 20 and you can have a line that easily. It, it's really good, it's a great moment to start. And then for about the fox mount that you can get from the event as well, it is this skin. You have two more skins you can get other ways, but this is the one that you get when you buy it. And it has an ability that makes you go invisible for six seconds, but you'll be slowed down a little bit. This mount goes at 15.96 compared to the usual speed of 16.25, which is the maximum, so it's not that much far behind. It's a really cool looking mount. Looks slick. So this is the one you get when you buy it from the vendor from anniversary event this and the line then about the wolf you can buy from anniversary event it's literally the same skin that I think I believe everyone has at this point it's more of a um, it's more of an icon now than a mount because no one's gonna buy it for the mount no one's gonna ride the slow as wolf mine is fast because of uh, alternatives but you can, it's gonna be a really slow mount. Why is it still in the vendor? It's probably because it's an iconic thing right now. It was the first mount they were giving to everybody, I believe, next to the horse. But the the gray wall was the first mount that a lot of people got. So it's more of like an icon to Alots rather than an actual mount that people would wanna use. Yeah, so that's the wolf that you can also buy from the vendor. So you've got an easy way of getting a mount. You've got the lucky moments going on for six more days, giving double reputation, which is what you need when you're leveling through zones to unlock better gear. And it's going to give you double XP for killing mobs, for completing quests. It's double XP on everything, basically. Really easy to level. Remember that pay to play has a 33% bonus on top of that as experience boost, whereas pay to play, they're kind of counting on you to buy excellent scrolls that's why now they're kind of giving them for free because that was a mistake they did back in the day and it's scaring off new players yada 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 
it's just so much good stuff right now to begin. 30.0 is right around the corner, guys. It's going to be either this Wednesday or next week Wednesday, where a full gear reset will happen. All the gear we have will be van vanished, demolished. It's going to start over from green again. It's a new big season. Guys, this is the moment, man. If you're waiting for a good moment to start EU pay to play, this is it. This is the one. Then there's items here with Marianne. So this is all the NPCs. Then on the right side and also on the other side, on the left side behind these big balls, our cruise ships are arriving and you can drive these cruise ships. This is a really cool little gimmick. This is kind of the same thing that you can do with your ship if you have a pier from the Astral Academy and they just fly through Koba, Aljun, Asitep, basically through the whole Holy Lands. Not Kyra, but Asitep, Aljun, Koba. And yeah, it's just like a cruise ship where you can chill with friends on and interact with the devices, dance with the NPCs. Just cool little stuff. There used to be the epic cages down here in the basement, but I noticed that they have removed them. Same for the other ship, they're no longer here. Oh, actually this one, as you can see, these are epic, but you can interact with them. So I'm assuming these guys have better drop rates, I'm not too sure. I'm assuming they have because they're also kind of more hidden on the ship like it's not in plain sight for players to go and see them i'm actually gonna wait 30 seconds because my buff's about to expire all right now let's have a look like, i'm just assuming here on a limp that they have a better drop rate but nothing on paper states it so i just find it Coincidence that developers are putting these away and these are epic quality on a ship so it's harder to find but yeah I got nothing so could be my could be my thought as well try it out yourself see what's up but that's about everything I can show on this anniversary event for people that are already playing from before unfortunately there's not much new I know I've been here myself for people that are still new to the game or returning or want to start this is pretty fun, this cool event has a lot of benefits, has cool costumes to offer. Go for it, it's really a good thing to do. So that's about everything I can tell you guys about the anniversary event. Hope you guys liked it, if you learned something be sure to give it a like. Maybe subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos about the game. I'll see you guys in the next one, have a good evening guys, bye bye.